Did I say I wanted you guys to know about the outside world? But this is still a questionable starting topic. Let me ask you this. What is this world's true identity? Huh? This world's true identity? What kind of question is that? Dots. This world's true... I, we're just jumping right into it. There's no explanation besides, I guess, the one before. This world's true identity. If I answer this, it will be true. Uh, and that lie will become the truth. But there's no way I can leave it unanswered. Okay, we're just starting off with a game mode right off the bat, brothers. <laughs> It's a virtual world, baby! We're in the fucking Matrix! This world, this Jabberwock Island we're on, it's a virtual world that was inspired by the actual Jabberwock Island! Hey, hey! So, this isn't the real world, but if you wanna... If you want... But if you want to, you can call it a game world! You get it! That's all... It's just all bit, one big game! Are you freaking serious? Don't fucking mess with me, you bastard. Do you uh, do you have all uh, do all of us have to come here just uh, did all of us have to come here for you to just tell us that bullshit? If this is a game, are my words being displayed in a text window right now? That's stupid. There's no way that's even possible. I know. I know. The all in your mind trope makes it feel like such cruel despair. But who cares? I've revealed all the suspense and mystery in just one line. Cause it's a game! Then, we were forced- We were forced to kill each other? Cause it's a game! A lot of crazy shit happened? Cause it's a game! We're the only people here? Because it's a game! Monokuma's nonsensical abilities? Cause it's a game! Don't fuck with me, that's not even possible! I know you guys are pissed about- uh, But you were having t uh, fun too, right? A world scheme- a world where anything goes... Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm blanking on a lot of things right now. A world where anything goes only exists in games. So, just force yourself to accept it. This closed space, this game world was a true stage of this killing school trip. Just stop. There's no way. There's no way I'm going to believe that. Back in the day, people must have reacted the same way when they first saw the airplane take flight. But like wearing contact lenses, it'll stop... Sh feeling strange once you get used to it. Please do not compare reality to contact lenses. I mean, if this this is really a virtual world, what does that make us? You better not say we're fictional characters. The Future Foundation created the, this world using a program called the Neo World Program. It's programmed to place the user in a virtual world by synchroni synchronizing directly with the user's brain. Which means your body still exists in the real world. But right now, you're completely submerged in the game world, as if you're dreaming or something. Simply put, you're, um, you know, not avi uh, aviators, but... You mean Avatar, right? An existence created in a game as a copy of the user's real body. But we're not just regular avatars, right? Your avatars were constructed by removing a specific thing from your bodies in the real world. What did you remove? The specific thing that was removed from our bodies. He's uh, definitely talking about that. What am I doing? Our school memories. It's the same thing, right? Our, our memories prior, right? Oh, I think it meant prior to like us living. I didn't read that right. I'm sorry. <laughs> what was removed from us was our school memories, right? Which means we're avatars that were created from our memories from before we entered the academy. So, that's why we don't have our memories of our lives at Hope's Peak Academy. Don't talk like that! Like we're made from memories of the past? Like we're avatars? Like this is a game world? How, how'd we end up talking about sci-fi crap? I'll never believe it! How many times do I have to tell you it's not sci-fi, it's a game! This world is a virtual reality created by a computer program. We can't proceed if we don't accept it. And is believing him really the only thing we can do? I don't know, fam. He said he would spit the truth, but right now he just seems like he's spouting nonsense. Nonsense. This is a virtual world. We're avatars that were created from this world. I don't want to believe something like that, but... Is there any evidence that this is a really a game world? You are the evidence! What does that mean? Your avatars are made from the memories before you enter the school! 
but your actual bodies in the real world are different. Though you have no memories of your time living in the school, your real body, uh, your, your real bodies actually lived that life. Sonia Sansetta. Earlier in the teacher's lounge, I found a strange newspaper clipping. Kyoko was all grown up, that's why. We lived our actual lives. This is just a game world. This was a, There was a picture of Hyoko, but she looked like an adult than the Hyoko we knew. Like an adult? What does that mean? It's because It means she grew up. She has a life outside of this virtual world that we're in. Since we're avatars right now, we look exactly as we did before we entered the school. But in the real world, we've actually lived out our school lives. Which means we've grown that much older. Among us, some age so much we didn't recognize them. Are you saying... That happened to Hyoko? It appears Hyoko had a growth spurt during the school year. Looks like the other shorty graduated for you, Hiko. I can't believe it. You're making shit up. But if you guys only had memory loss, your body still should have grown during that time, right? So you should have felt your bodies grow through growth spurts. But why didn't you guys recognize each other? Because we did not know each other before we lost our memories. If we all met after we lost our school memories, it's no different than meeting each other for the first time. Since we didn't know each other before that, we wouldn't have noticed how much we've all grown. Dots. No, hold on. If we didn't know each other before, we wouldn't have known if we aged or not by looking at each other. Then wouldn't he have noticed the difference? Fuyuhiku grew up with Pekko! You should have known! You grew up with someone here! Hey, Fuyuhiku, you knew Pekko for a long time, right? Yeah, now that you mention it, it seems weird. No, now that I think about it, it's definitely strange. Strange? What is? Our school memories about how, about how many days worth were taken away. As the creators of the Neo World program, only the Future Foundation would know the details, but around two or three years worth, I assume. That long? Becco and I have seen each other almost every single day of our lives. If we lost two years worth of memories, we would have noticed that we were older when, than we remembered. So, does that mean our memory loss is another one of Monokuma's lies? Your refusal to accept your mutual memory loss is why you can't notice all the important parts. You've lost your memories. End of story. You guys are avatars who have their memories taken away from them. This is a virtual world and we're virtual avatars? Are you saying we just have to accept that? I can feel my heartbeat and I know what I smell like. So you do, how do you call those? Uh, so what do you call these things I'm feeling? Are you saying these are all lies? Just because it's a game doesn't mean everything was a lie. Have you heard of when you're hypnotized to believe you've been burned? A burn mark will really appear? So if our brains believe something is real, it's no different than it actually happening? So you mean to tell me that even though we didn't actually die in the real life, if we believe we died in this world, we're actually dead? Damn it! So people are still gonna be dead outside. Now that you mention it, I did hear about the phenomenon quite similar to that. Isn't it called like phantom limb or some bullshit? Or that's more like I think if you lose a limb, not like... In distant country, there are certain experiments carried on one or the... Uh, one of the... Uh, out of one of their prisoners. The prisoner was blindfolded, strapped to a bed, and had small wounds applied to his toes to drain his blood. The prisoner was left alone in the experiment room as the sound of dripping blood echoed throughout the room. But in fact, his blood was not being drained. He was just forced to listen to the sound of dripping water, but he believed he was bleeding to death. However, in spite of that, the prisoner still died. As expected of Miss Sonia, your knowledge of, of state-sanctioned torture is amazing. If, you be, if a lie is be, a believable lie, you're saying it might become the truth. We're literally just connected to machines and stuff, and our consciousnesses are uploaded into you. So we genuinely believe that this game world was real. Then, the Jabberwock Island we've been living on? Of course, that's also the virtual world. It's a pretty cool one, though. It's honestly one of my favorite settings out of these games. The sea, the beach, the buildings, everything. It's a virtual world created by the Neo World program.
Just like it, this space we're in right now, what we se see before us is a virtual environment created by a program. It looks real because our brains think it's real. That's why, in the end, everyone's still really dead, right? What is this? Like, s s oh, we're just floating in a weird building. It was all just a creation. That's the truth. Okay. Well, what a setting change. Now my brain's gonna hurt for the rest of the game. <laughs> the truth is, the truth is, it, it was all a lie. That is this world's truth. If everything's a lie, then what should we believe? Who cares if it's a lie? Hey, what are you getting at? I mean, if this is really a game world, everything that happened here took place inside the game, right? Ah, then that means... People didn't actually die in the real world. They only just believed. That's right, the killings that we were forced to commit are part of some silly game. Literally. Everyone who was killed should still be alive in the real world. Ah uh, yeah, just because they died in the virtual world doesn't mean they die in real life. So, are you saying everyone is still alive? Yeah, that's it. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Oop, boop, 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 boop. What's so funny? If a lie is a believable lie, it might become the truth. That's what you said earlier, Fuyuhiko. Don't tell me you mean... The Neo World program isn't just a game. It's the next-gen software containing the ultimate reality. And speaking of that reality, if a player's avatar experiences death, their brain inside their actual bodies will stop functioning too. What? Then everyone who died... It's not like their bodies are completely dead, so I can't say it's the it's a true death, but that's why it's actually crueler instead. It's that's all, uh, all that's left of them are uh, empty husks. Are you saying they will never awaken again? What the fuck? What the fuck? Well, nobody's gonna appreciate a game where you don't die when you're supposed to, right? What game? That's not why we risked our what we risked our lives for. Ah, if you want to be mad, please be mad at the Future Foundation. They're forcing you to play this game. Future Foundation? The people from the Future Foundation made us play this sick game? Everything was their doing? Then Monomi and Chiaki were... They betrayed the Future Foundation to protect us, and then they were taken out. I see, so our real enemy is the Future Foundation. The Future Foundation is our real enemy? Dots. Is that it? Is that really it? Oh, yes! I like the... The new world program was developed by... The Future Foundation, right? The ones who trapped us here. Is the Future Foundation doing, right? Then the enemy is the Future Foundation! I mean, that group it made us do the killing game. So what did she go? No, they're trying to protect us. They're trying to rehabilitate us. Originally, this world was created by the Neo World Program, a concept like uh, like violence never existed. Then why is there killing going on? Because of Monokuma, you fucktards! He's right there. <laughs> The virus that invaded this program is forcing us to kill each other. Could it be that viruses... Dots. You're right, until Monokuma appeared, this island was giving off a really peaceful vibe. Monomi just wanted us to create, uh, collect hope fragments. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, it didn't get weird until Sami was remodeled as Monomi. Monomi, what sort of role did such a lost girl like her have in this world? Hey, don't change the subject! But that's also something we need to clear up. Monami or Asami's role was, uh, the observer, observer of the simulation. She was the observer of the Neo World program, isn't that right? That's right, she was an NPC that was d assigned the role of observer. NPC, what's that? Non-playable character, a character that's not controlled by a person. It's different from avatars like us. Monami's existence was created entirely by the program, just to monitor the 15 of you. Please wait, did you just say 15 people? Have you forgotten how to count? There were 16 people total. He was probably excluding the other observer. 
Huh? Another observer? It's true, boys. The other observer was... She actually... She wasn't real! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Aside from the 15 participants, there was two observers of the Neo World program. One of them was Monami, and the other was... Could it have been... Chiaki? Yeah, you're right. Are you saying Chiaki was an NPC? Are you saying she was just a program, and she didn't actually exist in real life? Then, she wasn't human? Dots. She didn't exist at all. And it, it goes back to, I don't know if you remember uh, when I completed her character. She said, please don't forget me when you leave this world or leave this island. It didn't make sense at first, but now it does because she can't follow us outside of the world. She's, she's just a program. She didn't exist at all. Not human. No, that's not it. Chiaki was really alive. Even if she was a virtual existence, she was really alive. Did you forget? She saved our lives, you know. Don't get all mushy towards a game character. Shut up! Plus, she wasn't just a little game character. She was also the lackey for the detestable World Ender. World Ender? Now that you mention it, you referred to the Future Foundation by that name before. That just means it was all a bluff, right? So we think that the Future Foundation was our enemy. Do not joke about the World Ending! No, there's no doubt that the Future Foundation is also World Ender. At least, for those of us here. For everyone who's here? Hey, what do you mean, those of us here? Why are you lumping us with you? It's just a bluff. That's... Monokuma, what exactly are you? Why do, don't you just show us your true self already? That's... What? You can't talk? That's... Is it cowardly of you to just ignore us? Before I reveal my true identity to you guys, it appears the main cast has finally arrived. Huh? Main cast? Speaking of which, this guy is a member of World Ender. What? World Ender? Huh? Is it? Is it really happening? He's here, boys! He's entered the game! It's not the Future Foundation's fault. Rather, the fault lies with you guys. Alright, I was waiting for you, Makoto. You finally arrived! Makoto? Yo, what's going on, brother? My name is Mukoto Nayegi. Like you, I'm also a former student of Host Peak Academy. And right now, I'm a member of Future Foundation. You are from the Future Foundation? Why did someone like you suddenly show up? I got it. You came to save us, right? Then hurry up and save us. That's... Hey, what happened? That's... What is this? Isn't he acting a bit strange? This guy's attitude, it's as if... He's being cautious of us. Of course, I don't mind rescuing you guys, but before that, you all need to fully accept the situation you're in. The situation we're in? Why do you think Future Foundation decided to put you guys in the Neo World program? Who cares? Hurry up and get us out of here. The Neo World program has another name, the Hope Restoration program. Hope Restoration program? But now you should understand your true identities. Huh? Our true identities? Aren't we the 15 survivors of the Hope's Peak Academy who were rescued by the Future Foundation? Dots. Before you arrived here, Monokuma should have shown you guys some clues. Put them all together and try thinking about it. Put it together and think? Logic dive time. I also bought the, the next perk. I think it was like the jump perk, so like now I can like... I got the B hops now, bit brothers. Because in reality, we are the remnants of despair. And they're trying to rehabilitate us because we were filled with it. Could it be the survivors of Hope's Peak Academy and the remnants of ultimate despair are? Yes, both of those phrases refer to you guys. That's right, not only are you guys the survivors of Host Peak Academy, you're also survivors of Ultimate Despair! We're all Ultimate Despair? Don't be stupid! In the beginning, we took in 15 of you as survivors of Host Peak Academy, but upon further investigation, we discovered an unbelievable truth. The 15 people were acquired were actually the horrifying remnants of despair. That was us? What is this Ultimate Despair? 
I remember hearing that they're, they're dangerous guys who were responsible for terrorism, and coup d'etats and wars. Yes, they're responsible for the tragedy that brought chaos into the world. Despair in human form, but utterly devoid of humanity. That's what you guys really are. The ultimate despairs don't care about principles or morals. They just spread despair everywhere they go. They solely... They live solely to torment everything, to burn everything, to kill everything. We're part of a dangerous group like that? That's gotta be a lie! That's right! There's no way! There's no way we're ultimate despair! Nagito probably did, did what he did because he managed to learn the unbelievable truth. Nagito? Why are you bringing him up all of a sudden? He's the only one who knew the truth before you guys! It was the special prize for clearing the final dead room! Was that in the file that contained all the student profiles? But inside, there was a page removed. But unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. Details? Details about our missing memories. Information about the time we spent at Hope's Peak Academy. If it's not written in here, these profiles must have been written before we entered the academy. No, it used to have profiles from after you entered the school, but Nagito destroyed them before you saw it. Huh? Why? Why did you know something like that? Anyway, it's the absolute truth that the file had profiles about you guys after you entered the school. And after Nagito obtained the file and learned the truth, what did he try to do to you guys? Nagito learned the truth. What did he try to do to us? Are you telling us to answer that? Alright, we're like literally 15 minutes in and I've already had to do two hangman's gambits, so, uh, you know. No! Not this shit again! Fuck! Stop! God damn it! Do you see what kind of shit I have to go through? Nope! Fuck! Nope! Nope! Fuck! God damn it! This is some bullshit. This is some bullshit, alright? I'm not a god at this game, alright? I can't do it when there's like fucking seven of them coming from every direction. Nope! Nope! He was trying to kill us all! God damn it! Ugh. Please, no more. No more. Have mercy on my soul. I hate those so much. He tried to kill everyone except for the traitor. That's right. After seeing the file, he learned that everyone, including him, was ultimate despair. And he tried to kill everyone except the traitor. Did Nikito try to kill us because we were all ultimate despair? Yes, because he loved his love for, for hope and his hatred towards despair. I sort of understand that feeling. Don't mess with us. Why would he have to be... Why do we have to be treated like the bad guys? There must be some kind of mistake. There's no way we're ultimate despair. I don't need a twist like that. It might be some seem unbelievable because you guys only have memories from before you entered the school. But it all happened at Hope's Peak Academy. You were tainted by the ultimate despair because of Hope's Peak Academy. You were all in contact with her. Her? The true ultimate despair, Junko Enishima. She strongly influenced all of you during the time your time at the school, and that's why you all became Ultimate Despair. In order to remove that influence, you've been placed into the Hope Restoration Program. Is that why you took away our school memories? The reason you're able to act like no your normal selves is because you're within the Neo World Program. But your true bodies in the real world are different. In the real world, you're part of a group that cruelly destroyed your family, friends, and even your own body. Family, friends, and even our own bodies? You're- aren't you exaggerating a bit? He's- right! There's no way we'd do something like that! Don't run away from the truth! Ugh. What was that just now? A memory? But... That person, that was Nagito, right? Dots. Vision of Nagito. It appears you remembered a little. Huh? Now, face what you've done, and from there, you'll finally take your first step on the path of hope. There's obviously some kind of mistake. There's no way we're ultimate despair! Because you're ultimate despair, you killed your friends and family. And even destroyed your own bodies! Soria Sanseta, remember Nagito's hand! 
he surgically implanted Junko's arm on himself. If that memory I felt was actually a memory from the real world, what Nagito did was... He cut off his own arm and transplanted a woman's arm. Not just any woman's arm. That was the late Junko and Ashima's arm. What did you say? He probably thought it, that by becoming one with Junko and Ashima, he could make her survive within him. Don't! I, I don't get all of this! The ultimate despairs are defy understanding. They have no problem ser severing their own limbs. I am terribly sorry. I do not feel so well. Where is the bathroom? It's just a game anyway, so why don't you just let it out? I'm pretty sure a select few would demand that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Choto mate, whoa! <laughs> It's too soon to feel sick. That's not even the worst thing the ultimate despairs have done. Ugh. Oh, they cr we Christian bailed our asses. Some wasted away to skin and bones through continuous fastenings in order to reach their despair of starvation. Others gave in their own families to Junko just to perform killing experiments on them. Not just that, after Junko's death, they slaughtered countless people by forcing them to, to commit suicide. One person even implanted one of Junko's eyes into their own socket. Perhaps they wanted to see her despair. And not just that, some even tried to have children with Junko's dead body. Ha! Just stop! That's just bull a bullshit story. That's obviously bullshit. So you feel despair towards yourselves in the real world. I understand that feeling. But there's no no need to worry. If you just advance towards the hope I provide, you'll definitely be saved. Save? You'll save us? Of course. That's my purpose, after all. That's why the Neo World program was created, too. You put us inside your program so that you could save us? Essentially, you're... Uh, cohabitation inside the new world program is just a simulation so it if we remove the memories of your time at Hope's Peak Academy would it also remove your ultimate despair so you say this was all just a test I guess I could say it was a test of success even though it deviated greatly from the original plan of graduating after gathering the hope fragments nevertheless you guys were able to overcome your expected trials and make your way here that's why all you need to do is choose graduate. If we do that, if we do that, can we get out of here? However, if you graduate from here, your school memories will never return. Huh? If you choose to graduate and the observer determines that there are no problems, you will complete the hope restoration program and your avatars will be uploaded into the real bo your real bodies. Uh, uploaded? It means by uploading our avatars memories into our bodies, we're also forcibly erasing our past selves. That's why it's called the Hope Restoration Program. So that is the Neo World Program. Hey, what happens to the people whose avatars died? If the avatar that needs to be uploaded has been deleted, there's nothing we can do. Are you saying they'll never wake up? God damn it! God damn it to fucking shit! And please take a look at this flipbook for a quick rundown of your options. If you choose graduate, it'll transfer your in-game memories by... But your school memories will be forever gone. Unfortunately, the people who have already died will never be able to wake up. Just a thought, what will happen if we do not choose to graduate? You'll have to continue living your tropical life. Hey, why do you gotta ask something like that? Well, if even if we wake up in the real world, we are all rather messed up, right? If that is the case, there then maybe staying on this island... What are you saying? Haven't we been working this hard just to escape from here? You don't have to force yourself to return to a painful reality. Let's just play this game forever and ever. Don't be ridiculous. If I stay in this screwed up world any longer, I'm seriously gonna snap. But is it really okay to sacrifice the others just to save ourselves? You're asking that now? If we don't gotta... If we don't gotta get out of here now, then what are we? What was everything up till now even for? You're right. We've been trying desperately to survive until we can finally leave this place. If we don't get out of here now, all the deaths we've endured will be in vain. I know this, but... Something's not right. How come Monokuma isn't trying to stop us? Is he just trying to stay quiet and overlook us getting out of this game world? 
then everything Monokuma did would be pointless too. Not only that, is it really okay for us to believe in him? Should we get out or... Hmm, I think we should hear the rest of the story. Wait, can we have some time to decide? Don't get scared. Uh, did you get scared like Sonya? No, it's not that. Don't you think it's a little strange? Strange? You still don't understand? Normally, ultimate despairs like you guys would just be abandoned. But I'm telling you, I'm here to help. You should be thankful for my, how open-minded the Future Foundation is. Makoto, what has happened to you? Just listen to the Future Foundation. The Future Foundation is the world's hope, you know? I knew it. Just as I thought, there's something wrong with you. Because guess what, folks? There's something off about the way you're speaking right now. I said I'm going to save you guys. Why aren't you listening to me? Let's just do what he says and get out of here. I mean, the Future Foundation is, are the good guys, right? And apparently, we are actually the bad guys. It's fine to trust them, right? The Future Foundation is the world's hope. No one can defy the Future Foundation. Troy Chigano, you did! Why are you sucking up to them right now? You define them by trying to help us. Hold on. Don't you... Uh, did you... Did you say it's foolish to defy the Future Foundation? Then how do you explain your actions? My actions? I saw it. The email that the Future Foundation sent you. To the Future Foundation 14th Division, Makoto Nayegi. Where are you guys? What are you doing right now? What you're doing is a serious act of treason. Don't you understand? Why are you protecting the remnants of despair? It should be abundantly clear how dangerous it is to keep those people alive. Stay calm and think about this carefully. You guys are being lied to. Think carefully about what's important to bring the light of hope to the world. The six of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed with our deals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy and sur uh, you survived and helped you recover your memories. Immediately return the remnants of despair to our headquarters. Unless we eliminate them, the tragedy will never end. Everything is for the sake of a hope-filled future. In that email, Makoto Nayagi defied the Future Foundation to protect the remnants of despair, which clearly contradicts what this person is saying. Just, huh? Is that email for real? The Future Foundation tried to kill us? Hold on, we'll, we'll deal with that later. Hey, Monokuma, those clues we found are all real, right? <laughs> and that's not the only contradiction. What this Makoto person is saying also contradicts what we've already been told. Essentially, I cannot guarantee that you are no, there are no issues with the program. To tell you the truth, I wasn't sure whether to not to run the program on you guys, but this is the only way to save you. I wanted to protect you. To me, those words seem much more real. If so, the person in front of us is a Baker Daker. Tell me, Makoto Nayagi, who are you? Who is he? Simply put, he's Makoto Nayagi, who's known for being a cutie patootie. I'm not asking you, I'm asking you insolent fool. If you're saying he's not Makoto, then show me the proof. Damn it, he's trying to interfere. Then, to prove whether that Makoto is the real or not, I'm gonna shove that in his face. Oh god. Eight six seven five three oh nine eight six seven five three oh nine eight six seven five three oh nine <laughs> Makoto Nayagi, if that's who you really are, then tell me this. Why did you make the password to Nazumi Castle one one zero three seven? Um what was that again? You can't answer? That's weird. Wait, you where did you find that out? Who cares? So how about it? Can you even answer? Dots. Oh, man. I've been found out. Found out? Then you're... Oop, boop, boop, boop. How disappointing. And I thought I was on the right track. Uh-oh. He, he disappeared. 
Hey! That guy disappeared! Why are you surprised? It's a computer program. So anything's possible, right? Then, that was just the work of Monokuma? Ah, oh, you found out I was faking! This is so embarrassing! I just want to kill myself! What are you doing? Why'd you show us a fake member of the Future Foundation? That fake was trying to get us out of the real world. Then that's your plan. Is this all just a trap? Nuts. Man, you saw right through me. I may as well be invisible. A trap? What kind of trap did he set? Hey, if you know what's good for you, you better hurry up and confess. I'll beat you half to death if you tell us now. But if you don't spit it out soon, I'm just gonna have to kill ya. Just kill him right now, then this nightmare can finally end. Violence is not allowed. This isn't a, that kind of game. It's a much smarter game than that, right? What game? This game is already over. This game is over? No, no, no. I'm not going to let you finish yet. There's no way I can end before the, I've even transformed. Transformed? A transformation is customary in the final boss battle, right? You know, like the one, like that one role-playing game. You know that game I'm talking about. Final! Don't say it! You're gonna get copyright strike. <laughs> now then, allow me to show you. I'll skip to the second and third forms and go straight to my final form. You better not be bluffing. I'm gonna beat the crap out of you and pull all your stuffing out. He's going super sweaty. Yeah! Uh, what? I have a bad feeling about this. Like, the inside of my brain is burning, sizzling. A really, really bad feeling. Now then, make sure you burn this gibberous despair you're about to see into your memories. Yeah! I'm gonna die! He really is going super sweaty. You know what they say about big tits? You can swim in them. <laughs> Lady Junko! <laughs> so you finally showed your face again, you, you fucking skank. Thought we killed you over, bitch. Seems like you resurrected yourself. What? What's going on? Am I hallucinating? Also, I'm gonna right off the bat apologize now. Uh, Lady Junko has a lot of different voices, so I don't know if I'll get them spot on like I did in the last game. So I'm just gonna try the best of my abilities to do that. I know every, I know anything goes here, but this, this is clearly not fucking okay. I see. So that's your reaction to seeing an extra large high school girl. But are you, they really that big? Don't you think they're pretty small? She's huge! She's way too huge! Huh? But the final boss is a certain action in the in a certain action game is much bigger. You know, that game. Knifearella! She said it anyway. I like the cleavage shot. I see, I see. I estimated the bus size of 15 meters, huh? My boobs are hopelessly huge. Hey, hey, want me to squish you between them? Big boobs feel good, you know. I'd, I'd get fucking crushed! If this was a pandering fan service game full of pretty girls, there's a CG close up of my cleavage, but. Too bad! This isn't a fan service game. Of course, of course, since it's not an action game either, you won't even get to experience the refreshing sensation of battling an enormous boss battle. Gah! <laughs> so fucking hopeless! This is Monokuma's true identity? We lost our identities? <laughs> we we have to deal with this fucking thing? I'm shocked. You call me this thing. You're so mean. Um, this... Is it just me or is her per... Is her, did her personality just change? I get bored easily in my personality. Like, I get 
I, I got already bored of my personality who gets easily bored. And that's what Fuyuhiko said. It's uh, too damn soon to say you got bored, right? Wait, huh? So, I have plenty of data on you guys, so it's so easy for me to know what you're thinking. You, you're not bored, you're not bored at all. I got bored of be getting bored, jeez. Even when I'm dead, I still get bored. This sucks. Even when you're dead, does that mean... Is this person's true identity? Lady Junko. Spare Coochie, Lady Junko? Are you Junko and Ashima? Did you say Junko and Ashima? Isn't she dead? It's true. I did end up dying last time. I'm sorry. Okay, I didn't mean to go so fast. I couldn't help it, you know? It's my first time. Jeez, stupid. You're the one who made me go all the way. Anyway, it was someone who died. And why is someone who died here right now? Do you guys know about artificial intelligence and alter ego? Huh? Exuberant. We are now an AI. We have transcended humanity. What AI? Stop talking all crazy bullshit. You see, my personality is like this because I'm the type who dies easily, right? That's why I made my own AI program while I was still alive. And then someone uploaded me into this Neo World program. And that's how Alter Ego Junko hopelessly appeared in front of you guys. That's insane. This insane bitch is Junko Enoshima. She's responsible for everything. The destruction of Hope's Peak Academy. The destruction of the world. The one who took over the Neo World program and forced us to kill each other. It was all this bitch is doing. Dots. Even so, what am I supposed to do? Even I know she's Junko and Ashima. Don't get cautious and think stuff like, what can we do? I mean, we're all ultimate despair here. Even if every one of our classmates looks at us like we're a bunch of loonies on the side of the road. So, let's all be friends. Hell no! Man, they hate me. When I was thinking of you guys when I tampered with the graduation program, but they all still hate me. Huh? Tampered with the graduation program? Remember that fake, what my fake Makoto said earlier about what happens when you graduate, right? I feel like you guys are getting a, a big enough reward for graduating. So, I decided to modify what happens so it's something exciting and unique, just like a game. She's gotta call her mother. Uploading your game memories into your real bodies is fine, but letting your friends stay dead just sucks. That's why I decided to resurrect them. This is a new graduation program I'm offering. Resurrect? Uh, are you serious? You can really do that? What the fuck? What, what do I do for this one? It was all real hearts, you know? The graduation program is your, your core part of this game. And so it was... Your, it was what protect a lot of encrypted codes. So, uh, it took me a long time. I felt so much despair and how useless I am. Well, one advantage of being an AI is I got smarter with computers. Before that, every time a computer froze, I used to just put it in a microwave and nuke it. Show, uh, show your hands, class. How do you think it took me to? How, uh, how long do you think it took me to modify it? Who cares about that? Are you serious about when you say everyone will come back to life? Did you forget? You gotta answer questions to progress the story. That's the rule of this game, right? By the way, I'll give you a clue. You guys were always watching time slip away at a certain place. So, you're not gonna tell us until that an until we answer that. We're completely at our mercy. But if we can't progress unless we answer, we have no choice but to answer. How long it took for Junko and Mishima to modify the graduation program? She said we were watching how long it took. Damn it, so it wasn't a nuke. If so, that certain place she was talking about was Jabberwock Park with the, the timer. It wasn't a nuke? God damn it, it was just the resurrection program. The countdown at Jabberwock Park, that's the only place I can think of. That's the only place we consistently watch that has anything to do with time. Then the countdown represented the time that was needed to modify the program? How brilliantly, uh, how brilliantly wrong! Haha, <laughs> you're totally wrong about the tricky timer. Wrong? Then what was it? How should I put it? I was just goofing around. Huh? I mean, it's stuff that doesn't... 
Isn't stuff you don't understand exciting even though you don't get it? It's kind of like a superhero cosplayer suit. So sometimes uh, someone or someone else's designs or alien stuff like that, right? Is it just for show? In the end, it was meaningless. Don't feel... Doesn't it fill you with despair? Like getting booted from the game server? You know, those murder mysteries where the culprit is really the detective who's investigating the murder? So... Uh, well, I'm so overpredictable and crap like that. Just, what did you expect from uh, at this stage of the game? She's, she's seriously messed up. Well, in a way, the countdown implied I was on a mission. Did you ever make... Uh, did you ever make up your own silly rules like don't step off the white line uh, uh, when you cross the road? I was testing myself to see if I could get you guys into the graduation program before the timer reached zero. Enough! Please stop! Don't be so disappointed. It's totally true. I had a hard time manipulating the program. While you guys were out at the beach making wrinkly dog faces, I was working so hard on my own, you know? Enough with the pointless crap! You're seriously going to resurrect everyone who died? Like I said, it's uh, easy. It's just, it's just a game after all. Just a game? Yeah, each and everything that happened in this world was just a game with uh, event within a game. There's no way anything that occurred in this game could affect the real world. You're, what you're saying is completely different from what you said before. You said whether or not to lie. The moment you feel something is real, it becomes real. The game where the, you, you throw your words back at me over, so you don't really have to worry about it. Fine, don't worry about it. Hey! Who fucking cares about logic? As long as everyone who died comes back to life, that's good enough. But if we do not understand the principles behind it, then do we even know if it's really possible? Anything goes in this world. We've seen what happens so many times already, you know? Well, if a high school girl can get huge, then it's not crazy if a dead if the dead can come back to life, right? If she's saying that's how she tampered with the computer program, how are we supposed to respond to that? That's right. That's where you should finish the now, that's why you should finish the game and go back to living your normal lives in the real world. If we go back, what do you get out of it? Hmm? What benefit do you get of making us return to the real world? And as long as we don't know what that is. Man, you're so annoying. You're so petty. It's not like you're it's not like you're a housewife living on a tight budget. All I want is to put you guys in this graduation performance in the more dramatic way. Well, if you doubt me, you don't have to go back. It is what- is that what you want? Not go back? <laughs> Hold on a sec. We're obviously gonna get out of here. If it'll bring our dead friends back, it's all we can do. Of course, we're gonna be working toward that goal for like ever. Because we had that goal, we were able to endure those killings. Plus, everyone could go back together, so there's no reason to hesitate. You are right. There's no way we could choose to stay here after all we've been through. Just as expected from the winners of the killing school trip. You really, you, you, your will is to live and as true ultimates. <laughs> Wonderful. That's more, more reason to execute your role as the devices. Devices? Okay. Now let's stop stalling with your time for time with the exposition and hurry up and do it. Now then, why don't you guys just go ahead and answer the touch panel that's right in front of you? If you're gonna do it, I'm seriously gonna do it. If you don't hurry up, I'm seriously gonna do it. Don't you have to say who you're talking to? That doesn't concern a chump like you, Hajame. Chump? Don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be over once we press this. So, we just have to press graduate, right? If we do that, we can go home, right? I can go back. With this, I can finally go back. He's right. With this, we can finally go back. This will end it. And our friends who have died and will, who died will be saved. That's way beyond what is expected. Then it's safe to say this is the good ending, right? Hmm. 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 I mean. I mean, what else can we do? Did Mokoto just switch out on me? Don't press it. This is Junko's trap. Huh? What the heck? That guy from earlier is back again. It's not again. This one's the real one. Real? I'm Makoto Nayagi. Makoto Nayagi of the Future Foundation. Okay, now I'm just... We're just... Which one's the real one? I don't even know anymore. Prove it to yourself. What was the 8675 number mean? This guy is the real Makoto Nayagi? 
Now you're just confusing me. Then this is the guy I spoke to? I'm sorry I'm late. I actually wanted to come rescue you sooner, but thanks to the virus infecting the Neo World program, I wasn't able to enter. Just when the chumps were about to be in a pinch, he's suddenly able to enter for reasons unknown. And thus, the main character gallantly appears. Yeah, so cool. I'm drooling so, so much. Did you, uh, did, uh, did you also time my arrival? No, that doesn't matter. I'm going to save everyone, and then I'm going to settle this between us once and for all. Ah, I'm drooling. I can't stop leaking. How were you able to get here, Makoto? Since I used my tricks to hack the program, he must have hacked in with his own tricks too, right? That's also how you kept your memories, right? Even though you haven't aged today, just like these guys. If I had it, then I wouldn't be able to save everyone. Don't, don't you understand? It doesn't matter how you got here. As long as you're here, you'll be treated like all my other students. Which means you must respect my authority. I already know the risks of being here. <laughs> you always say such reckless hope. I love you so much that you disgust me. Hey, just what do you mean by trap? What is Junko's trap? It doesn't matter. We, we can finally end this, you know. If we get out of here, it'll all resolve itself peacefully. After all this, we can get out of here. Uh, I can't let you get in the way. And uh, the fact that you guys are even thinking like that is Junko's trap. Huh? She's lying to you about your dead friends coming back to life. Oh, widow oh me Who do we trust? If you knew Junko's true goal, you'd know she's lying. You know her goal? Yeah, Junko's goal is to convert the Hope Restoration Program to the Despair Restoration Program. The Despair Restoration Program? As part of the graduation program, your avatar's memory and consciousness is uploaded into your real body. However, none of us expected that any of the avatars would get deleted. Junko has taken advantage of that opportunity. She intends to use her version of Alter Ego, the AI she stole my friend's, of my friends' skill to create, and upload herself into the bodies of everyone whose avatar was deleted. What? Then everyone who died is gonna come back to life? They're gonna be taken over by Junko? What the fuck? Like the real world, once the avatar is deleted from this virtual world, it can't be recovered. It's actual, actual, it's actually impossible to revive them. That doesn't mean I was lying, you know? It doesn't make, uh, I didn't just make some things up, uh, some things clear. And even if they're overwritten by Alter Ego, it doesn't mean they'll be compl a completely different person. The data of everyone who died is stored within me, so I'm sure I can convincingly act as out their own personalities. Don't mess with me. In fact, I, l I have a lot of data on Fuyuhiko, so I know some things that'll make you happy. I could play a version of Peko that's more to your liking than she ever was. I said don't fucking mess with me! <laughs> Operation Junko Fi All Mankind begins here! Junko Fi All Mankind? After uploading my alter ego into everyone who died, I'm gonna take over the Future Foundation's headquarters. And then, eventually, there's going to be a whole lot of me's all over the world. With this, my despair utopia, where you can despair as much as you please, Junko Land will be complete. That's Operation Junko Fi All Mankind, in a nutshell. Ha, yeah! Our dreams of expand and handing is happening! That's a messed up plan- this messed up plan is your goal? Then, why did you just kill all of us? If you did, you could have just taken over all our bodies. Wouldn't that have been more convenient for you? Is that what you want me to do? Is that- is it too late for me to do that? No, there's a reason Junko couldn't do that. That's why she made you guys kill each other. The reason she wasn't able to do that, was that because there was something she didn't do? If so, that reason was the school trip's rules. We had to get along. I got it! It's because of the school trip's rules. Even a monster like her has to follow the rules of the school trip? Junko absurd Asami's authority as an observer and her role as your teacher. However, according to the rules of the school trip, even Usami had to follow them. That's why even Junko took over the position, as she had no choice but to follow the rules as well. The lead teacher cannot directly interfere with the students. So the rules were protecting us? Man, I was so annoyed. I had the authority to, to add rules, but no authority to delete rules. 
Oh well, even I couldn't delete rules. I'm still busy with my whole taking over your bodies plan. So you made us kill each other because you couldn't kill us yourself? Then, is that how you were able to increase the number of bodies you could take over? Like I said, I personally didn't care about the outcome of the killings. How dare you look down on us? Don't fuck with me. What about our lives? Hey, chump change. Uh, I won't forgive you. I never, ever fucking forgive you. So that's your trap. You try to make us choose graduate so you can take over everyone's body with the graduation program. How, how can you be so cruel? Because Junko Anishima is the true ultimate despair. She doesn't yearn for any kind of future at all. She fills every, every person she meets with despair. That's my, that's my Makoto. You understand me so well. For me, despair is not a goal, or a set of principles, or a lifestyle, or even an instinct. It's what defines me as Junko Enoshima. It's my characterization. And that's why I'm able to pursue despair with such purity. So you're saying you only exist to fill people with despair? For example, want to hear about the beautiful memory that even I, who gets bored easily, still remember fondly? Picture thousands of fools who are madly in love with me, dying all one by one like insects drowsed in bug spray. And the best part is, they did it all themselves, you know? Thousands of humans falling like dominoes. Oh, that memory is so beautiful. It made my brain melt. Yeah, does that, does that story have a happy ending? Could it be? Is she talking about them, right? The reserve force students. So it was true. They all killed themselves. Except for me! Because I'm still here, alive, in the real world. Are you talking about the reserve corps mass suicide? Oh yeah, I totally forgot you're a survivor of the reserve corps. By the way, I'm sorry for your loss. Mass suicide? What's she talking about? An incident where 2,357 people from the reserve corps all killed themselves. Junko probably made them do it. 2,357 people? That's an outrageous number. Weren't you there when we talked about it? Why is that a surprise to you? You don't have to be that surprised. You all look like your parents, friends, and lovers all died at once. Uh, that's so rude of me. There's no way you guys even have meaningful relationships like that anymore. I mean, you're all, you're all ultimate despair. You guys have already eaten your fill of despair. I do not really know what you are trying to say. Junko robs the future of everyone she enacts with. The ultimate despairs are among her many victims. If someone like me is born, it means your world is yearning for despair. That's wrong. The world isn't yearning for despair. That's the reason we can't let you escape. But if you do that, you guys won't be able to return to the real world, right? Huh? If we choose graduate and get out of here, the graduation program will activate, right? If that happens, Junko's alter ego will be uploaded into the bodies of the dead. Does that mean we gotta stay here for her to, from her getting out? What the heck? Why does it have to be like that? It's such a cruel fate for you guys, but it's awfully convenient for the future foundation. Then, then I'll be able to keep all the ultimate despairs, including me, trapped in the game forever. What's wrong? That's not it. But ultimate despairs hated worldwide. Their lives are no doubt targeted by the future foundation. Oh well, if you don't get the acknowledgement like that, I guess it can't be helped. I can't be helped. <laughs> Lol. This is nothing to lull about. But it's so ironic. You came all the way here to find out that graduating is the wrong choice. Then, even though you came all this way to win the game, even though you kept sacrificing your friends to win, <sighs> your goal was to squirm. You got your goal. The goal of you guys to you squirm to reach is all wrong. So that's just so fucking tragic. Stop it! It was all a mistake. Was this all really a mistake? Was it a mistake to keep, to think we'd go home alive all along? Alrighty then, my tater chips. That's gonna do it for part one of the final trial. Hope you all enjoyed that. Man, oh man, is that getting good, baby. Didn't expect my boy to show up. <laughs> my, my boy Makoto's back, brothers. And Lady Junko. I highly recommend, uh, uh, if you haven't see, uh, watch, uh, the first game, uh, 
I guess uh, at this point it's kind of like lame to watch it, but whatever. I still recommend you watch me play through the first game. So that way you can, if you haven't seen it already. Because, yeah, these characters are from the first game. So, they're all, it's all tying together, boys. It's just one big story. So, let's finish the game out in the next one. Hope to see y'all there.